Okay, so I'm a little late in talking about this, but believe me, I've been affected by it for the past three or four days. Um, Garmin was hacked. The reason I know this and am affected by it personally is because I am a Garmin fitness watch user and I use their app all the time uh, on a daily basis. I just recently in the past year got into endurance training and um, running daily. And one of the first things I did a couple months into training was buy a fitness tracking watch. And after doing some research, I went with the Garmin 235, which gives me everything I need, except for maybe um, I might want to upgrade to the one that stores your music and podcasts and things directly in the watch. That'd be fantastic. So I didn't have to carry my phone with me when I run. But anyway, on to the story. I actually pulled up a news story so I can actually, uh, you know, get some, hit you with some facts here today. So, this is from CNN Business. Garmin hit with massive outage in suspected ransomware attack. This was, a um, let's see, the last updated 20. Garmin, the GPS and wearable device company, says a widespread blackout has left its fitness devices, website, and call centers offline for more than 24 hours in what may be a ransomware attack. This is a quote from them. We are currently experiencing an outage that affects Garmin.com and goes on Twitter and on the Garmin Connect. And this is the only thing I get. When I open up the, uh, this is not the article here. When I open up the app, it's not tracking anything. There's just a big message on there that, that tells you that they're experiencing an outage and that they'll be back shortly. That was like four days ago. Anyway. This outage also affects our call centers and we're currently unable to receive calls, emails, or online chats. Garmin Connect allows users to track and analyze their fitness activities using the Garmin website and app. Since Thursday, however, the outage has prevented new downloads of the app and the website is still shut down as of midday Friday. And here we are on Sunday now. And I'm telling you personally, nothing has changed. So, aviation also appears to have been affected the tech news website ZDNet reports that pilots were unable to download the newest version of Garmin GPS software, Fly Garmin, which the FAA requires to be up to date. The Garmin pilot app, which uses which pilots use to plan flight paths, was also down. So this is not just affecting people who wear fitness watches. It's a, it's a huge, huge hack. Some Garmin employees say the outage is connected to a new strain of ransomware called Wasted Locker, according to ZDNet. Garmin did not immediately respond to a request for comment, however, and CNN Business has not been able to independently verify that a virus caused the outage. Now, I'm seeing this all over. I'm seeing, um, I mean, there's articles everywhere. And some of them will say that there are sources inside the company who are confirming this, but the company has not officially said what's going on. But man, is it affecting, I, I, I know it's probably a bigger deal to uh, pilots and the like, but man, I, I, I'm a member of a couple of fitness groups like on Facebook and uh, everyone's affected, man. Everyone is affected. Now, some people are saying just uh, upload your stuff directly to the website, up uh, to uh, Strava. Well, I don't use Strava. I, I use Garmin and that's it. I only track my stuff through Garmin. So unfortunately, I am shit out of luck until they get things back up and running. It must be a pretty big deal because I've never seen a company that got hacked that was just completely down for this long. It's pretty crazy. So, yeah, that's what's on my mind today, man, because it, it will track uh, the immediate workout you're doing. And I don't know if it is storing all the info. Like, I don't know how long it stores info for if you're not syncing to the app, you know. I don't know if... I know I've ran like 30 miles this week. Is that when it finally does sync up to the working app and website, is it going to have all that data that I've collected this entire week? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to track all my runs. Uh, but, you know, I'll be fine. I mean, what did people do before there was tracking apps? I'm just happy that the watch, you know, is still work, that locally it still works, that I can see how long I'm running, what my pace is, uh, you know, my heart rate and things like that. So at least I have that aspect of the, of the tracking 
you know, that I, I maybe I can't upload it all and track it for the week, get my weekly stats and um, get my entire day stats, but it is still tracking calories burned. It's still tracking um, the workout that you're tracking while you're tracking it and everything else. It's still tracking your heart rate and things like that. So, you know, at least there is that, but I'm definitely... I'm definitely wishing it were online because it, it's just it's kind of a pain in the ass, you know. Um, I probably just need to get over it with being a little bitch because, you know, on the, on it, I'm just used to checking it on the daily and maybe I need to get away from that. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a cue for me to uh, pull back a little bit from caring so much about the data. Now, I'm not like a super fast runner or anything. I'm not like, it's not like I'm really improving anything at this point. It's just maintenance stuff. I'm doing... Uh, you know, three, four, five, six miles a day, and I'm doing it at a slow pace just to kind of keep, just to maintain, just to maintain. So, nothing detrimental. It's not like I'm preparing for a race or anything. I'm not not super upset by it, but it, it kind of sucks because I just thought maybe a week ago, I was thinking of a gift to buy my wife for her birthday next month, and I was thinking, you know what, I should get her a Garmin watch that's kind of like mine, you know? Uh, maybe not the exact same kind, maybe a, a, a different version, but she has a Fitbit and she likes the ability to track stuff. And I have found Garmin to be a little more accurate in terms of tracking miles and stuff like that. And I was hoping to, you know, upgrade her for her birthday. We're already going on a trip for her birthday, but I wanted to kind of include, you know, a, a gift as well. And I, I was wanting to get her a Garmin of some sort, but now... I've got to take another look at that. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't go with Garmin. I don't know. Hopefully they get it cleared up soon. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's podcast, please subscribe and follow the podcast. Uh, this is what I do. It's a daily podcast where I talk about whatever's on my mind. Sometimes it's stuff like this. Sometimes it's pop culture. Sometimes it's um, politics. Sometimes it's uh, a story from my childhood. You know, it could be anything, but... That's what I do. I kind of challenge myself to come up with something of substance to talk about every day. And if you're into that sort of thing, follow along. Like it. Uh, share this episode if you enjoyed it. I found it useful. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, so...